thank y'all for all of that love. And it is right on time because love is in the air. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Y'all excited? I'm excited about Valentine's Day. Listen, I hope you all got your chocolates, your gifts, your flowers. Y'all ready? If you didn't make your dinner reservation, by not do it during the commercial break. Okay? Wait, ooh, y'all hear that? That sounds like the harp. Oh my goodness! Oh my God, it's... It's, it's Wally Cupid! Look at your friend. Can I come look outside your hair? It's Cupid Wally! Where is Cupid Wally now? Baby, you ain't got over time. Wally, you ain't got on no clothes. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that? You don't think it's long enough? It surprised me. Oh, my God. You look fantastic, friend. Thank you. I ain't never set this close to Cupid. You like it? Let me pull your skirt down just a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. It, it is a little short. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, I don't know what these outfits gonna be looking like. And this one just took me out, I gotta say. I'm back, mother. I'm back. I love your look, friend. You look I fabulous. I feel naked. You are naked. <laughs> but it's Valentine's Day. Okay, do you have something for me, friend? I do, friend. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I love chocolates. You got me chocolate. Should I, I open chocolate. your chocolate? You should. Please open it. You brought me some good... Oh. And there's something else And you got you. something for me. This chocolate smells good. You gonna read me? It's this the point. Me? Can I read it to Please you? Please read it to me. I'm gonna sniff the chocolates while you do. Close your ears. <laughs> she's got a big smile that's sweeter than honey. And once she starts talking, you'll know that she's funny. Her most recent special is called Someone You Love. Now Cupid must go fly away like a dove. Oh, I love it. That was so beautiful, Wally Cupid. And you look amazing. Do I get a kiss on the mm. cheek? Oh, my God. I love you, too. Love and you. you're my Valentine. Can I share some of my chocolate Valentine with you? Day, Y'all, please. please give my Wally Cupid a hand. Give him my chocolates. Oh my goodness. Give him a hand. Yay! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. He did an excellent job. Those were some amazing hints for my first guest. I know who it is. I know y'all don't. So I'm going to get to it so y'all know exactly who she is. She is a very funny comedian, actress, and the host of the brand new show, Stupid Pet Tricks. Please welcome Sarah Silverman. Looking for the the bearded man who was doing the robot uh, <laughs> during warm up. It was very good. We were watching from the monitor. They be getting on some good on the good foot. You see him? There you go, right there. There he is. Oh, we're like wearing the same outfit, basically. <laughs> very good. We we're impressed. Lots of good moves. Oh my goodness! Can I offer you some my Valentine's chocolate, Sarah? Yeah. Which one would you pick? I don't. I don't this trust is tough. these. This is usually when I take a little bite out of the bottom to see what's inside and then... But then you might as well eat back. the whole thing, right? I know, but am I a darker... Cho I'm Which one milk. are you? I, I, I'm a milk chocolate person, too. Is it good? Tell me about it. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Okay. But it's been so many great things going on for you in your life because you were nominated for a Grammy and a Golden Globe for your stand-up special. <laughs> like a Wednesday for me. Oh, yeah, look at that. How does that feel? Amazing. <laughs> I, I'm so grateful. I just, I just don't know how many tight dresses and high heels are in my future. You sound like me. Uh... Do it. Okay, so like, how was the Golden Globes? It was, it was, it was fun. And I, I don't want to come off as jaded because I get so excited. Like, I watch so much TV. I, oh, that's my boyfriend Rory. He's I so cute, Rory. And uh, <laughs> he, he, uh, he. Um, I love TV, I love movies, I love seeing all the celebrities, and it's so fun. Um, but I just, I don't know what's happened to me. I just wanna be home. You sound like me. I went to no parties. <laughs> I had friends there, I, we're gonna go. I just, I go, 
do you care if we just go home? He goes, whatever you want. I go, let's order Paquito Mas mm. and have it be delivered by the mm. time we're home in pajamas. I was so happy yes. to be home. I just... Yeah. I understand that completely. Because yeah. I always dream of being like, oh my God, if I could get there on the couch with some sweatpants mm. and watch it back or something like that. And it is, you know, amazing to be there. But the dream is like, ah, oh, I can't wait to be chilling at home in my comfort zone. So good. Right? Yes, in my home clothes. Yes, yes. And then, for some reason, when you are out and about at the awards, you end up in, like, photos and going viral. Like, I got one. Take a look at this. Sorry, you need to sit down now. <laughs> They're always <laughs> hounding me. <laughs> How did that happen? Like, what, did you realize you were, like, in the shot or? No, not at all. But Rory, my boyfriend, uh, like, all his high school friends were like, we could see you in the background. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's, you know, I, I, I'm in all the uh, viral um, photographs. What's the other one? It was like Jay-Z, Cardi B, and me hanging out, obviously. Yeah, and there you are again. The three of us, three musketeers. That's what I call it. So you didn't feel the camera on you at all? <laughs> Not at all. I'm clueless. Or maybe I did, and I was like, you know. Okay, but see, then this is what I wonder. I so now that this keeps happening to you, do you now have a special pose prepared for when you just happen to be in the shot, like, you know, for in the event you get caught in, in, in the photos? That's a really good idea. I think it's I a good idea. Be, like, be prepared. You know, my mom for years, someone told her this is the way to smile in pictures so mm -hmm. that you don't show wrinkles and it looks crazy. So like all the pictures of my mom are like this. <laughs> Going, Karen. <laughs> See? It's crazy. <laughs> Smiles always look good on your face. It doesn't matter. Like, if wrinkles, anything, it doesn't matter. But you, when you're smiling, you look good. So. You're good. So, next time you're just smiling, you'll be ready for your viral moments for sure. Okay, now, so you're working on it. I like it. Yeah. Keep Wait, that. just call me. Keep that. Hey, Sarah. Do you see that? Like that? So, next time, Natural. it ain't about the person that's in the front, it's about you know, your whole <laughs> moment, and you steal, you steal the photo. Now, listen, okay, this is serious business, because okay. you know the all-star game is coming up, and I'm playing, and I heard you play it before. Like, you got any tips? How did it go? What you got for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would say, sounds corny, just have fun, but it's so, you're practicing. I saw the hoop outside. You see, y'all, I could barely walk out here, my knee bad from trying to practice so much. Were you practicing in those shoes? Not in these shoes, <laughs> but these nails. But I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of the nails. First of all, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I had to have nails for a movie uh -huh. that I heard you poo pooed. I know that they look small. To you. these are nothing. These okay. are I don't have nails. I was, you I had nails have... in that movie, and they put on like fake nails, and I had to live with them. They didn't weren't like I couldn't take them off in between. Sarah, I don't see no nails. That's nails right there. <laughs> it's nails. I know they don't look long to you, but I'm telling you, for weeks, I could not type or wipe. <laughs> ah, well, what would you do with these? I wouldn't wipe. <laughs> I, would, I would be too scared. You need, like, a Japanese toilet. I know that you just, you could probably type, like, brrr, I mean, Oh, I love like the that. sound. Damn. I do love that sound. I, I'll, I'll give you some tips on that if you give me some basketball tips, okay? I will. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yes. All right, more Sarah. We'll be right back. We are back at the very funny Sarah Silverman. Okay, this, I love me some animals. I love this new show you're hosting, Stupid Pet Tricks. Tell everyone about it. It's the Letterman bit, Stupid Pet Tricks. Mm -hmm. And he called up and was like, we, we want to do a show. Will you host it? And I was, I would do anything for him. I was just so excited <laughs> to be on the phone with him. And um, what is that hair? What's my hair doing? <laughs> anyway, it looks like I'm wearing, like, kind of wearing headphones. <laughs> but um, no, I'm kidding. I'm adorable. I'm strong in my body works. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and, and it's been so fun to do something that has no politics, no anything. It's actually for the whole family. Like, we made. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it was so fun. I love animals. Mm -hmm. I, like, anytime I'm sad or spiraling, I just watch, like... Me too. Yeah. 
unlikely animal friendships. That's what I type in, and then the next three hours I'm in heaven. So I just really liked it. We obviously, the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that these animals were taken care of, yes. were healthy, were treated well. I mean, to the point where people would be, you know, like the, the wranglers would be like, the cat needs to rest. And we'd be like, okay, oh. cat needs to rest. Like, you know, I mean, we didn't want to do anything. They get breaks. Wrong, yeah. I love that. And um, well, there's a whole backstage kind of B story to each. There's like the regular stupid pet tricks like you see. And then, like you saw me in the clip, like to go to the writer's room, all the writers are animals. and. That part I loved because it's so lo-fi, like they just gave them whatever their treat they like, a carrot, and they ate it, chewed it, and then the, the actors would put the voices in, like, you, you know it's not really, you know animals <laughs> can't talk, right? But it's so, um, it's just really fun, it's genuinely funny, we were really laughing, and I realized, like, for the whole family, it was like, people like me and their kids, like, I was excited about it, and um, just the fact that I think thinking about um, unlikely animal friendships, in that way, to me, it is not political, but it's about us. Mm -hmm. Like, if they can get along, we should be able to get along. It's yes! Ridiculous. I always think that. I'm like, yeah. come on, the animals can get along. Okay, I have to ask, is, has there been any animals that's been on there that you were afraid of? No, um, no, not really. I mean, we had spiders. Mm, that, would, that would be fright. Spider I didn't have a problem with because spiders are our friends. But, and cockroaches, I try to... I even like house flies. Like, we have flies fly. in the house, and I, I don't like killing them. I don't want to kill them. I just try to, like, right. point them out the door. Yes, yes. And uh, I think, you know what I think I love about house flies? I, somewhere along the line, I learned that they only live 24 hours. Right. And I just thought that was so like beautiful and heartbreaking and poetic. It just made me love them. Okay. Then my boyfriend was like, are you sure they only live 24 hours? And I was so mad, like, oh yeah, you should probably Google it, because what do I know? I'm just a girl. <laughs> and he backed off like, I'm, no, I'm sorry, you're right, but I did look it up and they live about a month. Whatever, it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, you know we had the pet psychic on the show to talk about my cat. Have you ever spoken to one? I did, actually. You did? I don't usually buy into that stuff, and I kind of still don't. Um, yeah, but I have either. to say, I hired this pet psychic. It's so embarrassing. And she was telling me all about my dog. And then she said, um, he misses this yellow bowl with a blue rim. And I'm like, oh, wow, really? And she left, and I was like, I don't have a yellow bowl with a blue mm -hmm. rim. She's so full of crap. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And then I told my sister about it, and she would watch my dog at the time, Duck, for me, and she said, I feed him in a yellow bowl with a blue rim. And oh. I was like, whoa. Wow. Yeah. So it's truth to that? I mean, maybe, because I don't know what's true anymore. All right, it's hard to know. Will you come back again and see us? Yes. All right. The new episodes of Stupid Hat Tricks will debut Monday night at 9 p.m. on TBS. I'll be watching, and we'll be right back. I'm sure no one had more fun at the Super Bowl than our favorite kid sports reporter, Jeremiah. Mazda wanted to help Jeremiah pursue his passion, so we sent him on the sports reporting assignment of a lifetime. And thanks to his new CX-90, he was able to connect with the local Las Vegas community and got to meet some of his favorite players. Y'all, let's take a look. Hi, Jennifer! It's me, Jeremiah, and I am here in my hometown, Las Vegas, covering everything Super Bowl for you. Luckily, I have my new Mazda CX-90 to transport me all around the city. I am so excited and I can't wait. Let's go! We are going to the NFL experience in style, Mom. Exactly. I sort of feel guilty in this big old beautiful Mazda. It's like, it's just two of us sitting here and we could have had like six or seven more people in here. I mean, we got a bunch of room. This is a three-row car. I could fit all my friends and family in here. Go Raiders! To prepare for my interviews, I like to get in the heads of who I'm talking to. And what better way to do that than to play some football at the NFL Experience? Let's go! Feels 
slide. but now I gotta go in the house to change for community. All right, I'm ready to go. Who are you most excited to meet? I'm excited to see Cameron Hayward and congratulate him on winning the 2023 Walter Payton Award. Um, I'm excited to see Bobby Wagner, Terry McLaurin. <laughs> so I get excited to see absolutely everybody. Yeah, there. everybody, man. Hi, it's me, Jeremiah, and I am here at the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Community Day. Each year before the Super Bowl, the NFL recognizes a player from each NFL franchise who has been doing amazing things to help out their community. This year's winner is Cameron Hayward, but all of the nominees for the award are here at the Boys and Girls Club to do some amazing activities with some kids. Let's go interview some NFL players. Hi, I'm Jeremiah with Jeremiah 1 in 5 here on behalf of the Jennifer Hudson Show in Mazda, and I am here with 2023 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award winner Cameron Hayward. I am here with Chargers safety Derwin James, three-time pro bowler, offensive lineman Deion Dawkins for the Buffalo Bills, Raiders linebacker and defensive end Max Crosby, Washington Commanders wide receiver Terry McLaurin, NFL commissioner since 2006 Roger Goodell. On the field, he had 33 total tackles, 25 solo, and 8 assists, and he had two sacks. This season, he had 90 total tackles, 55 solo, and 35 assists. He had two forced fumbles. This season, he caught the ball 79 times for 1,002 reception yards, four receiving touchdowns, and averaged 12.7 yards per catch. Now, that's who he is on the field. Now, I'm going to let him tell you who he is off the field. Can you tell us why you were nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award? I guess you get nominated for being a good person. Honestly, it's just about uh, you know, giving with no intent to receive. What else drives the passion that we see on the field every game? Um, honestly, I love football. I love going out there, hearing the crowd. Uh, I love meeting the fans and, and being kids, um, somebody they can look up to. So oh. tell me why you think you won the Walter Payne Man of the Year Award over 31 other nominees. I, I was really surprised um, because those guys have done amazing work. So what inspires you to be the best on and off the football field? Well, God is number one. My family is number one as well. They are hand in hand. What inspires me is, is being um, the best version of myself every single day. Oh, my mom, my dad, my parents, they installed me. And then my son, I have a son. So he inspires me a lot to be great because I'm, I'm like his role model. How difficult is it to pick the finalist of all the awards? Really hard because it, they're all winners in my book. There's Madden going on right there. Can I play with you? No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're on TV everywhere when we got home last night. You were all watching you. Thank you. Sweet. Jeremiah, I'm really impressed by you, man. Thank you. You're charismatic, but also, like, you come prepared. Thank and you. And I think your questions are really thought out. Thank you so much. No problem. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Jennifer and Mazda, thank you guys so much for this opportunity, and thank you for helping me fulfill my dream of being one of the greatest journalists ever. Say hi to Jennifer for me, would you? Hi, <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> for giving this mother and son an incredible experience and making Jeremiah's dreams come true. You can learn more at MazdaUSA.com. We'll be right back. Y'all, the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game is only three days away. Now, normally, I'd be with my skills coach, but we got a show today. So, we brought him here today. Here's a look at our training together. Check it out. Point legend Chris Matthews, the lethal shooter. Hey, wonderful. Thank 
Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Okay, now I don't know if I can do anything that was up on there right now. <laughs> you know, I gotta warm up. Right. But I'm glad that we got you here in this Absolutely. space. Okay, so y'all may not know, but this man trains like, you train like major yep. professional basketball yep. players. Yep. How did you get into that? Um, basically, 21 Savage actually messaged me like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not gonna train celebrities. I'm not gonna train these type of guys. I'm gonna strict, stick, stick strictly to NBA. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to train 21 Savage. So we trained at midnight. Uh -huh. And then since from there, that's when like, I started training celebrities. That's when I've been able to like, take my brand to the next level. So it's been a dream come true. Mm. Yeah. It, it's amazing. <laughs> but you got me believing it, son. I'm just saying. OK, so tell me, uh, you're a great coach. Yep. What is your favorite thing about coaching? Um, just giving back to others. You saw when I was training you, you know, I'm not training you like you, know, like you don't know how to play basketball. I'm training you because you are great at things. So it's my job to ha make that same love with basketball, what you do with singing. So you notice when I was training you, we was using different metaphors with singing with basketball. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing I do with youth. It's the same thing I do with every single person. Like, I want you to know how much I love basketball. And when you're done the workout, I want you to love it as much as well. OK, you got me <laughs> believing it. Because I feel like I'm ready to go to the WNBA. Right. And you're, you're so inspiring. Yep. Like, you know, you even inspired my son and the boys. And I like the positive perspective yep. that you have on everything. OK, and you know. All of them is on me, so I got to make my boys proud yep. for this All-Star game. So I've been thinking about it, Lethal, mm -hmm. okay? What are some things like I can, that you think I can bring to the game? Honestly, you're a great player. Like I told you in the workouts, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, you're a really good leader. Okay. Um, I noticed in the workouts when I was coming at you hard, I was trying to make you quit, you was working harder. Mm -hmm. So that means on the court, when you're out there with Stephen A and he's yelling at you, you're built for that because I've been yelling at you for the last few workouts. Yes, you have. All right, so that means, that means, <laughs> that means in the game, when you got a wide open leg up, take your time. If you get a jump shot, take the jump shot. So I think for you, knocking down the jump shot, being a leader on the court is going to help your team get the win. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking that in. <laughs> I'm a good student and I respond to notes. Okay. So how do you think I can help my thing? Like what my team, what you think is my superpower? I think your superpower is honestly everything. You know what I mean? Like I told you in the workout, there's nothing that you do bad. You know, okay. but I feel like if it's that one thing we need to do is being vocal. So the good thing about basketball is about talking. So it's like, hey, Jennifer, I got your help. Make sure when you're out there, you're the same way you are on the show. You're always talking. If you're on the bench, you talk. When you're on the court, you talk. Because that's the, the leadership that, that you bring, like a Michael Jordan or a Kobe Bryant. They, they were good vocal leaders. Okay. And I feel like on the basketball court, that's what you can bring. OK. Yeah. OK, so Lisa Schubert. <laughs> what you think I could brush up on? Um, I want some. Honestly, Tip. in the last few workouts, you were doing great. The last workout we did, we were doing layups, we were doing mid-range jump shots, we were doing free throws. I think you did a great job. But I say right now, we, I think we can master the layup again. Mm -hmm. um, we can master the free throw again. Because you remember, I was on you. I was tough. I was oh, screaming boy. in your face. <laughs> yes, you know you what I mean? Yes, you uh, And I'll say the jump shot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. So right here, like you know what before, you uh, we're going to come here. OK. Right foot up. Mm -hmm. Come off the left. Finish. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so. Come up here. See, I don't want to think too much. Right. I right just foot want to up. Go for it. Left right foot, back. foot up. Yep. Left go off foot the left. Back. Step up. Go. Good. Oh. And remember how we did it before. You gotta be. You gotta be calm. I got right. You, calm down. You gotta be calm. I need my song in yep. my head. When you I? when you singing in front of those big crowds, you always calm. When you playing basketball, you gotta be calm. Right. All right. Right. And then I need y'all yelling at me because you know they're gonna be yelling at oh, us. Oh, I'm about to start right? yelling in a second. <laughs> All, right. All right. Go. Calm down. Okay, Same okay. thing with the free throw. It's going to be okay. loud in there. People, okay. you're going to have fans, you're going to have people screaming at you, but at the free throw line, what do you have to be? I have to be calm. Be calm. Do Stay you remember the free throw zone. routine? Where uh, the ball is supposed yep, to go? Yep, I remember. It right. go in the left hand. Okay, what are you supposed to do again now? There you go. Take a deep breath. There you go. Block all that right. noise so out. So they're going to be right here. You yep. can't shoot. You can't do this. You can't do that. <laughs> NBA All-Star. Okay, okay, ooh, okay, what's a, a mid-range jump shot, what's that? So the good thing, me and you've been mastering shooting, and okay. you know when you step into the jump shot, you go left foot, right foot, because that helps you keep a rhythm. Just like when you're on stage, you keep a good rhythm with singing. Ah, so when I pass it to you, right. you step with the left, step with the right, do I, sh do I always shoot calm? Yes. Absolutely, should my hands be ready? Yep, Absolutely. I gotta be Let's ready sit. all the time. You ready? Let's get loud, let's get loud, come on. You ready? Oh, good. 
now, I got now, it. That, now, that was a good miss. But, okay. but you know why that was a good miss? Why? It's because you hit your target. When we first started training, you remember the ball was kind of going to the left, going to the right. Uh -huh. So by you missing straight right there, that shows that you, you're really, really focused. Okay. All right, let's go again. All right, ready, go. Good base. Boom! We got a little bit more to talk about. Will you stick around, Lethal Shooter? I'm gonna be here. I need this man. We'll be right back. We're back with the one, the only Lethal, Lethal Shooter <laughs> in the house. Yes. Okay. I've been working hard, right? She has been working hard. I'm and you haven't quit, because I was trying to I was trying to push you and you kept going. You've been tough. <laughs> Listen, this is a real coach right here because you're known for like three pointers, yeah. right? Yeah. What's the craziest three-pointer you ever did? Um, I'm blessed to be the first person to ever shoot in front of the pyramids. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You think you could give us a shot? We want you want to see him shoot, don't you, y'all? <laughs> did you just see that he in water pyramids <laughs> over mountains and hills and valleys, child? Do you think we could get a shot up in here today? Yeah, I could take a shot. Y'all want to see him shoot today? <laughs> oh my goodness! All I right. mean, where you want me to shoot from? I I'm just trying to look space for you. Somebody said the chair. <laughs> what do y'all think? Where we going? We going up here? Lethal, is that good enough for you? That's I need far. to get out the way. Where do I go? <laughs> oh. That's what you do, baby. That's what you do. That's what you do, son. What? <laughs> what? OK. Thank you for prepping me Absolutely. For, for the game. Absolutely. This is some serious business, because I want to make you proud. Mm -hmm. I want to make y'all proud, mm -hmm. OK? OK? But before you go, I got to give you something from the happy place, because, you know, we honor you, baby. Here you go. Oh! oh. Thank you. Thank you for Thank everything you, so you are doing. Thank, Thank you for you being so a much. great coach. Y'all can follow Letha Shooter on Instagram and check out, check me out at the All-Star Game this Friday. All right, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and what better way to express our love than to get our craft on with some handmade projects? Here to help us out today is my lovely writer, Grace. Hi, Hello. Grace. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Okay. Uh, listen, y'all, I already lost a couple of nails, you know, over here. I was wondering, Grace, before we get started, you yeah. think I could use this glue to glue my nail back on? You know, I probably wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Okay. Because it's both hot and glue, so it could burn a little. Okay. Yeah. Well, I won't try that, but <laughs> at least they're off in time for yeah, the game. There we so, go. bam, there it is. <laughs> what are we working on today? Yes, okay, so tomorrow is Valentine's Day, of course, yes. but today is Galentine's Day. I love that. My personal favorite, yes, so exciting. So it's the day that we use to celebrate our gal pals, our, our girlfriends. Because right. it's not always about love, it's a, a, a companion, but Exactly, a friend, too. friend love too, so. Yeah. 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 So yeah. fun. So I'm hosting some gal pals for a Galentine's Day get together tonight, so I thought that we could make these adorable crafts using items that are under $5. I love so Five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And are you crafty at all? Uh, Jennifer, I'm gonna admit to you something. I am not. I look at mm. people who craft a little bit like people who run marathons, where it's just like, <laughs> okay. oh, like it's very cool that you can do that. I don't think that I can, but good for you. Mm. But I think that I can do this, and I think that if okay. I can do this, anyone can do this. Okay. So I'm good. confident. Then I mean, I can do it yeah. too. Yes. Okay. Where, yeah. where you get the ideas from? Oh my gosh, so I was scrolling on Instagram for inspiration and I found an account called Damask Love. Mm -hmm. And it's this gal who does the cutest crafts and this is one of her ideas. We wanna have her on the show because nice. she's the actual expert, but in the meantime, I will be your inexpert expert we can to translate. Yeah. She can, and then she can help us progress. Yeah. Okay, exactly. well, let's see what we're doing then. Okay, amazing. So. We have all of the supplies, again, under $5, which is so amazing, but we're gonna start with these so cute, these um, wooden hearts that mm -hmm. have holes already punched in them, which we'll use, as you can see, as our little straps for our little bags. Okay. So we're gonna start by painting the other side, because oh. you can see one side is pink, this side okay. hasn't been painted yet. So we're gonna get started with the paint. So okay. grab oh, your okay. paintbrush. Okay. I love this. Yeah. You and it's use... like a little arts and craft thing. Yeah, exactly. I love exactly. sentimental gifts. You know, yeah, where... This is like the perfect kind of thing where 
it really shows your friends and your loved ones that you've thought of them when you make them yes. something special from and the And you heart took the time to do it heart. yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It has extra meaning. Yeah. And you you draw, right, Jennifer? So you're like yeah, artistic. I do. And it's relaxing too. Yeah, it's very right? um yeah. yeah messy but relaxing messy but relaxing it's kind of like meditative to do all it of this is. and it's from the heart exactly it? literally from the, from the heart i know and it's easy to tell so cute for our friends what kind of gifts do you get a gal gallon what's a galentine a galentine i feel like I like doing little gift bags with like, you could do nail stickers or candles or nail candy, glue. chocolate, mm -hmm. nail glue, exactly. <laughs> That's maybe not from a hot glue gun. Right. Um, yeah, I've done Galentine's parties with friends where each person has brought an item for everyone so that everyone goes home with like a little gift bag like this full of cute little items that they can little girly eat and things. smell and exactly i love that oh my gosh that looks did so I do good cute. you did great that looks amazing i polished my nail too by the way yeah oh baby these nails is going through it yeah no that's perfect you actually don't need a new nail you can just paint right I on want there my that's friend perfect. to know this is from the heart i know Hold that's on, adorable a okay so now we're going to do a little shortcut and we're going to swap out our wet painted ones with these already dry ones that mm. we have right here so nice. we can continue with our little progress. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, see, perfect. But I did good though, you see That's that? That's so good! Yes! Go, so Jennifer! Cute. Get it, girl! Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, amazing. So now what we're gonna do is these have ribbons on them already which will form our straps, but you have a little box next to you and you can toss the lid. We don't need the lid. But what we're gonna do is cut along the seam of one of the corners. Okay. And then we're gonna cut out the whole square on the top. Let me watch you. So do okay, yeah. So we. I'm cut. a visual learner. Yeah, no, me okay. too. Um, so you're gonna cut that seam. All right. I'm not great with scissors, but I'm worse with knives. So I would really, <laughs> I would really recommend using scissors for this, even though you can use, I okay. guess, any sharp object that you're confident with. I'm just rough with everything. Yeah, no, me too. I actually have a scar on my hand from trying to open a package of scissors with a knife, ironically. Yeah. Great. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm cutting it off. Yeah, exactly. So then when you're done with it, you have this, little square that you don't need. We don't need that. And then you have this guy, which is just oh. like the outside of the box. So then I get rid okay, of this. Then you, yeah. See, there you I go being rough. Hold on, hold on. That, we're gonna be okay. I mean, <laughs> work smarter, not harder. Okay. So then it goes like this, <laughs> and what we would do is glue it, but we, again, have a little shortcut. These ones are already glued. Ah. So what we can do is then just glue on the top, which is super easy. So. It's like magic. I know, it's like magic. So use your hot glue gun, but be careful with it. Once again, hot and glue. And you're just gonna glue along the seams so that we can then just set the top on top to form the bag. But again, you wanna be careful with it because it is so hot. Mm -hmm. um, but you do wanna lay it down when it is still hot so that you actually, okay, this is. <laughs> I'm like, you want to do it immediately, heart. but not. Let me do Jennifer's. So what? That works better. Okay. It look hot. It is hot, but it doesn't need to look pretty because this forms the inside you won't see of that the part. bag. Exactly. Okay. So okay. then there it is. you just set this part on top. How cute. And is this? press it on, and then that forms the little bag. Aww. That's so great. Yeah. So fun. And it's yeah. something you can do with your gal pals too. Exactly, you can do it with your gal pals. And then is the fun part where you can decorate it using all these fun glitzy things. Mm -hmm. So we have stickers, you can make um, phrases and words like we do with conversation hearts, those little like be mine candies. Yeah. You can put whatever you want on it using these stickers and then glue on these fun glitzy rhinestone hearts I like that and one. stuff, which is so fun. Yeah. Let's see if that I can right get there. this to. Can yeah. we add this one? Yes. Okay. Cool. Pop that on. Yeah, that I looks like so that cute. Because it should be bedazzled. Exactly. It's me. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, that's, that's Jennifer's Jennifer signature right there. Yeah. I right? love that. That's so cute. Oh I like my gosh. It. Yeah. I like it a lot. And it's fun and it's relaxing. Yes. Okay. You yes, absolutely. And then the ribbons are already tied on, so that forms the bag. It will look like this when mm. it's all finished, which is so cute. Ta -da! 
girly and dainty is that? I know, and you can finish it off by putting anything you want in it and then using the tissue paper to stuff inside and make it look super voluminous and cute. Yes, yeah. I love it so much. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. Thank you for doing this with me, Grace. Of course. We oh should do gosh. this more often Absolutely. to find out more about how you can make your own Valentine's Day bag. Go to JenniferHustonShow.com. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.